Jessie V and in today's video I'm going to be telling you guys about probably some of the creepiest dolls I've ever seen in my entire life. I had no idea these things actually existed but they do. They're called time out dolls and it's literally these dolls that are like leaned over with their hands covering their face and they're put in a corner and they're just so creepy. There are so many eerie stories about people who have had these dolls so I'm going to talk about the history and some experiences and whoa it's scary okay. Before I get started though I just wanted to let you guys know that my mom actually has a new butterfly themed line on our website. All of these items are coming out just in time for Mother's Day so if you see a gift on here that your mom would like I've linked it down below. But it's not just for Mother's Day if you like any of these items for yourself or for a friend or for a gift definitely check them out. She has two different styles of bags. One is more of a tote bag with a gorgeous purple butterfly on it and then there's three smaller body bags that have these gorgeous little gold butterflies on them and then probably one of my most favorite things that she has is the butterfly umbrella. It is gorgeous and I love how everything sort of has like that lilac theme. I love that color. It's just perfect for spring and summer. So if you guys would like to support my mom and her new line definitely check out the link down below. I think you guys will love all of her stuff. And look there's a butterfly behind me so it all just makes sense. By the way if you want to win this backdrop I'm announcing it literally this coming week. All you have to do is to subscribe to this channel so my Jessie V channel turn on your notification bell and then head over to my Instagram it's just Jessie V follow me there and DM me which fictional place you would like to live in it could be absolutely anywhere that is fictional all right so without further ado let's talk about these very weird timeout dolls even the name of these dolls it's like what the heck by the way they're also known as corner dolls so take that in too a timeout doll or corner doll is a large realistic child doll that is posed with its hands over its face. It's intended to be stood in a corner or up against a piece of furniture, so it appears that the doll is a child who is being punished or having a time out. Now what I feel is even creepier is that the doll's original designer is completely unknown. No one knows who it was or where these came from originally. Though the commonly held belief is that they were created in Appalachia in the 1990s as home decorations. These dolls used to be very popular in flea markets and in old vintage stores and for some reason they're very popular at car shows which is like baffling to me. You're probably wondering why the heck are they at car shows Jesse? Some people say they're just decoration because they're definitely eye-catching and some say the dolls can also be used to hide flaws such as bumper dents and paint scratches. Now they usually have a disturbing sign attached to them. Sometimes it says stuff like my parents don't want me take me home for $25. People often mistake them for being a real child until they actually walk up and like turn them around. It is crazy how many people have like reported a child hiding in a corner somewhere and then the police show up and they're like oh no that's that's a doll. Some of these dolls don't even have a face because they're supposed to be viewed from the back. So the face of the doll was never designed because you're not supposed to see it. But that's creepy. Could you imagine walking up to what you thought was a real person and when you turn them around it's just a big blank face? I mean that's literally something out of a nightmare. Some parents would even put this doll in the corner of their house so that their kid would know where to go when they were in timeout. The kid would just have to stand and face the wall just like the doll was doing. If my mom told me to go stand beside a doll in the corner while I was having my time out, I would have lost my mind. Some people on the internet were saying that they remember their grandparents having this doll when they were little and they always thought it was supposed to be a doll counting for hide and seek. And that kind of makes sense because the dolls sort of have their hands over their face, they're leaned over looking like they're counting. So I can see how it could seem like a hide and seek doll. This one girl says she distinctly remembered sleeping over one night at her grandma's house and she was woken up by the distant sound of counting. She heard this tiny little voice somewhere in the house and it counted all the way up to 30 and then said, ready or not, here I come. Then she started to hear the floorboards in her house creak as if something was getting closer. So she ran over to her bedroom door, closed it, and then when she told her grandma the next day, obviously her grandma did not believe her. She thought it was all in her imagination. But could you just imagine? There was another lady who found 
one of these dolls when she was out walking her dog. She saw this garbage bag sitting on the sidewalk when she went to open it up. She saw this doll, it was all tattered and dirty, and she took it home and still has it to this day. Why would someone do that? But the scariest story I read was about this girl who was dog sitting in this giant old mansion. The house apparently belonged to this old couple who had gone on vacation to Hawaii for two months. She said the first few days she was there, she kept finding these timeout dolls in almost every room of the house in different places. For example, one was in front of the shower curtain, one was in the closet, one was half under the bed, one was in front of the oven. It was just so random. They were placed just like sporadically around the house. They had like hundreds of them. And she said as creepy as it was, she assumed she would just sort of get used to it over time. She knew they were just dolls. Right. Well, one night she got up out of bed to go and use the washroom. And the large bedroom she was in was so dark and the light switch was all the way across the room. So she had no light whatsoever. So she got out of bed and immediately stumbled over something. She was squinting her eyes, wondering what it was. And she saw this dark figure on the ground. She got really spooked and started going faster towards the light switch, but she tripped over something else that was on the floor. So she kept walking faster and faster and tripped over something else. She was so confused because when she went to bed, the room was tidy, spotless, organized. There should have been nothing in her way on the way to the bathroom. But it was like she had to go around all these objects to get to the light. Well, when she finally got there and turned it on, she saw that her room was full of those terrifying timeout dolls. They were everywhere. They were all just grouped in her room, standing at different places, and they were all turned away from her. So she just saw the backs of them leaned over with their hands covering their face. So she ran out of the house and told the couple that they had to find someone else to watch their dogs. And since that day, she literally did not take any dog babysitting jobs because she was just scarred, and I do not blame her whatsoever. Now, you guys are gonna think I'm crazy, but I literally I wanted to go on eBay to see if I could like buy one of these dolls because whenever I hear of stuff like this, I am scared, but I'm also intrigued, you know me. But when I went on eBay, these dolls are selling for like $500 each, some even like a thousand and like that's a bit too much. It's a little bit too much. But maybe if I ever stumble across one, I will get it and unbox it on my vlog channel. So let me know if you see one that's like a decent price because I will buy it for you guys for your entertainment. <laughs> anyway, so guys, those are the timeout dolls. So weird. If you've ever had one, one or know someone who has one, definitely comment your experience down below. Do you think they're creepy? Do you think they're kind of cool? And yeah, don't forget if you want to check out my mom's new butterfly themed line, I have placed that down below in the description. But I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Thank you.